As we contemplate the future of humanity beyond Earth, the prospect of making distant worlds habitable becomes both a tantalizing possibility and a daunting challenge. Mars, with its proximity to Earth and relatively hospitable conditions compared to other celestial bodies, presents a promising target for human colonization. But transforming the Red Planet into a second Earth will require bold vision and unprecedented technological innovation. One proposed method for making Mars habitable is terraforming, the process of modifying a planet's atmosphere, temperature, and surface conditions to make it suitable for human habitation. Terraforming Mars would involve releasing greenhouse gases trapped in the planet's soil and polar ice caps, such as carbon dioxide and water vapor, to thicken the atmosphere and raise the temperature. This could potentially trigger a runaway greenhouse effect, melting the polar ice caps and releasing even more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. In addition to altering the atmosphere, terraforming Mars would also require the introduction of liquid water to the surface, either by melting the polar ice caps or redirecting water from asteroids or comets. This water could be used for irrigation, generating hydroelectric power, and supporting ecosystems of plants and animals. Over time, the increased atmospheric pressure and temperature, combined with the presence of liquid water, could create conditions conducive to human settlement. But terraforming Mars is not without its challenges. The process would likely take centuries, if not millennia, to complete. And the initial stages could be fraught with unintended consequences. Moreover, there are ethical questions to consider, such as the potential impact on any indigenous Martian life forms that may exist. While Mars presents a tantalizing opportunity for human colonization, the distant stars of the Alpha Centauri system beckon with the promise of new worlds and untold adventures. Located a mere 437 light years away, Alpha Centauri is the closest star system to our own. For decades, scientists have speculated about the possibility of habitable planets orbiting the stars Alpha Centauri A and B and recent discoveries have only added fuel to the fire. One possibility is that the planets of Alpha Centauri could be tidally locked, with one side permanently facing the star, and the other side in perpetual darkness. This would create extreme temperature gradients, with scorching hot conditions on the sunlit side and frigid cold on the dark side. To make such planets habitable, we would need to develop advanced technologies capable of regulating temperature and generating artificial sunlight. Another challenge of colonizing Alpha Centauri is the vast distances involved. Even with hypothetical future propulsion systems capable of near light speed travel, the journey to Alpha Centauri would still take decades or even centuries. This would require generation ships, self-sustaining spacecraft capable of supporting multiple generations of inhabitants, or perhaps even the development of cryogenic hibernation technology, as depicted in science fiction works like Lost in Space. As we gaze into the depths of time, contemplating the fate of the Alpha Centauri system billions of years hence, we are confronted with a cosmic spectacle of unparalleled magnitude. Alpha Centauri, our nearest stellar neighbor, has long captivated the imaginations of astronomers and dreamers alike. But what will Alpha Centauri look like in 3.5 billion years? And how might its evolution impact the destiny of our own solar system and the broader cosmos? To answer this question, we must first understand the current state of the Alpha Centauri system. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system composed of three stars. Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Alpha Centauri A and B are sun-like stars, orbiting each other in a binary system, while Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star located slightly farther away. In 3.5 billion years, Alpha Centauri A and B will have evolved significantly from their current state. Both stars are currently in the prime of their lives, burning hydrogen in their cores to sustain nuclear fusion and radiating energy into space. However, as stars age, they undergo dramatic transformations that can profoundly affect their appearance and behavior. One possible fate for Alpha Centauri A and B is that they will evolve into red giant stars. As stars like Alpha Centauri exhaust their hydrogen fuel, they begin to fuse helium in their cores, causing their outer layers to expand and cool, transforming them into red giants. 
During this phase, Alpha Centauri A and B could swell to many times their current size, engulfing any planets in their vicinity and altering the dynamics of the entire system. The expansion of Alpha Centauri A and B into red giants would have profound implications for any planets orbiting the stars, planets located within the habitable zone. The region around a star where conditions are suitable for liquid water to exist on the surface would be subjected to extreme heating as their parent stars expand. This could trigger runaway greenhouse effects, boiling away oceans and rendering the planets uninhabitable. However, not all hope is lost for potential inhabitants of the Alpha Centauri system. While the expansion of Alpha Centauri A and B into red giants may spell doom for any planets in their immediate vicinity, it is possible that habitable zones could shift outward as the stars evolve. Planets that were previously too cold to support life could find themselves within the habitable zone as the stars expand, opening up new opportunities for colonization. Another possibility is that some planets in the Alpha Centauri system could be ejected from their orbits altogether as a result of gravitational interactions with the evolving stars. These rogue planets, adrift in the depths of interstellar space, would be cast into darkness and cold, stripped of any hope of sustaining life. In addition to the fate of Alpha Centauri A and B, we must also consider the implications of Proxima Centauri, the third member of the Alpha Centauri system. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, much smaller and cooler than Alpha Centauri A and B. While Proxima Centauri is currently the closest known exoplanetary system to Earth, its prospects for habitability are uncertain. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are known for their propensity for stellar flares, intense bursts of energy that can sterilize the surfaces of nearby planets and strip away their atmospheres. This poses significant challenges for any planets orbiting Proxima Centauri that might otherwise be candidates for habitability. In 3.5 billion years, Proxima Centauri may continue to unleash powerful flares, rendering any planets in its vicinity inhospitable to life as we know it. However, it is also possible that some planets orbiting Proxima Centauri could harbor subsurface oceans or other forms of life that are more resilient to stellar radiation. Considering the evolving nature of the Alpha Centauri system, the potential colonization of this stellar neighborhood presents both immense challenges and unparalleled opportunities for humanity's future among the stars. As we continue to explore and understand the cosmos, the fate of Alpha Centauri remains a captivating enigma, inviting us to peer into the depths of time and contemplate our place in the vast expanse of the universe. Colonizing a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri presents a multitude of challenges due to the intense stellar flares emitted by the star. However, humans are adept at adapting to extreme environments, and with sufficient technological innovation, it may be possible to establish habitable settlements on such a world. One of the primary challenges of living on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri would be mitigating the harmful effects of stellar flares. To protect inhabitants from radiation exposure, settlements would need to be constructed underground or within shielded structures. These habitats could be built using advanced materials capable of absorbing or deflecting harmful radiation, such as lead-lined walls or composite alloys. Furthermore, to provide a sustainable source of resources for the inhabitants, colonies would need to develop sophisticated infrastructure for resource extraction and recycling. This could include mining operations to extract minerals and metals from the planet's surface or asteroids, as well as advanced recycling systems to reuse and repurpose materials within the colony. Water, a vital resource for human survival, would likely be scarce on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. However, it may be possible to extract water from subsurface ice deposits or to generate it through chemical processes such as electrolysis, which splits water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Additionally, colonies could employ water-saving technologies such as closed-loop water recycling systems to minimize waste and maximize efficiency. Food production would also be a significant challenge on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. With limited access to sunlight for photosynthesis, traditional agriculture may not be feasible. Instead, colonies would need to rely on alternative methods of food production such as hydroponics, aeroponics, or cellular agriculture. 
These techniques allow for the cultivation of crops in controlled environments using nutrient solutions or cultured cells, eliminating the need for soil or natural sunlight. Energy production would be another critical aspect of life on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. Solar power, while abundant, may be unreliable due to the variability of the star's output during solar flares. Therefore, colonies would need to diversify their energy sources, incorporating technologies such as nuclear fission, fusion, or advanced battery storage systems to provide consistent power supply. Despite these challenges, the resilience of the human body offers hope for the possibility of survival on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. While prolonged exposure to radiation may pose health risks, humans have demonstrated the ability to adapt to a wide range of environmental conditions. With proper shielding and medical interventions, colonists could potentially thrive in the harsh conditions of a world bathed in stellar radiation. Establishing habitable settlements on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri would undoubtedly be challenging. However, it is not beyond the realm of possibility with sufficient technological innovation and human ingenuity. By developing advanced infrastructure for resource extraction, recycling and energy production, and by leveraging the resilience of the human body, it may be possible to create sustainable colonies capable of surviving in the harsh environment of a world exposed to intense stellar flares.